What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Right now, we're doing something, I don't even know what to say about what we're doing right now, to be honest. I do not need another car, but there are certain times in life when deals pop up and you just can't say no. For me, it's pretty much whenever anyone offers me a car for any money. But we're going to pick up another car. The car trailer is currently on the back. We're in the beautiful countryside, Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Potentially breaking a couple of rules, but hey, rules are made to be broken. What up, Dan Andrews, if you're watching this video, shout out. Good job, mate. So right now, we're headed to pick up a car off a friend. Uh, super cheap. The, the price of these cars are going up month by month. So it was a bit of a no-brainer not to pick this car up for the price that we got off of it for. So no idea what we're going to do with the car as of yet. We do not know the condition of the car. I know it runs. Other than that, it's sight unseen. So who knows the condition of the body, which is, you know, the best way to buy a car in my opinion. So yeah, perhaps we'll uh, let you guys decide what we're going to do with this car um, once we see. If it's a mint car, maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll make it, you know, perfect and sell it to someone and make some money so that we can continue doing other builds on the channel. If it's not so mint, maybe we can do a cheeky drift build or something or other on the channel or yeah, so gosh knows. Leaning towards a drift build. You, you want to do a drift build because yeah. you want a car to drift, but anyway, we're going to enjoy the beautiful countryside and we'll see you guys when we get there. This thing is not a nugget at all. It's brand new, straight off the lot. But it starts, runs and drives and it's manual. So thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. We're gonna drive this on the trailer, take it back to the factory and we're gonna suss it out and definitely not do a skid in it. <laughs> conditions of sale. Yeah. Conditions of sale. I'll send you a video. Expect it now. <laughs> oh God, what have I got myself into? All right. Funny if you can't. Let's load it up. <laughs> Sorry, my foot got stuck. You! Thanks, Dan. Oh, there's a forest in this thing. Hey, 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 hey. It builds character. <laughs> okay? Holy crap. Start singing Disney songs and you're on your way to happiness, alright? A whole new world! Wow. Spider webs. This is gonna be a journey, guys. <laughs> what a nugget. So we're back at the factory. Gotta get this nugget off the trailer. Fingers crossed to start. Do the windows work? Look at that! Okay, that's rare. What? It works. Jeez. I didn't realize I was doing a skid in reverse to start with. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, so now the shenanigans are over, let's have a bit of a walk around of this thing and kind of see what we have purchased. As you can see straight away, there's guard. Not the best looking guard in the world. I pulled the ECU out real quick just to double check and have a look and see what it is. But the car itself runs beautifully. Driveline feels like it's great, does what it should do. Shifts smoothly, as you see the sunroof works, so that's fantastic. Missing a couple of plastic trims. The car is obviously extremely dirty. Bumper's kind of hanging off here. We've got a forest going on up here. The M43 1.8 litre motor. 
all the electrics seem to work for the most part i think this back window the back left window doesn't work so well oh, man it's so manky on the inside it's like gross but at the same time it just begs for someone to clean it like it's going to be really satisfying when we do it but yeah for the most part it's, it's pretty straight i mean when you get to here a tree has obviously hit this and smashed the back window which isn't the best i think the back window is about 350 bucks to replace back corner has had some kind of a wall tap shout out to the last owner but um yeah that's pretty much the gist of it 1.8 litre e46 was so cheap i really couldn't turn it down i really have no idea what to do with this car do i part it out do we do something fun with it so i'm gonna leave it up to you guys to comment below let me know what you think we should do with it i've got enough drift cars i feel like so building another drift car doesn't really make a lot of sense I feel like this car might just be too far gone to put it back on the road and do anything like that with it. I don't know, I'm a little bit torn, so you guys get to choose, comment below, I'll follow your guidance and we'll go from there. I feel like a set of the TSG Dishy Boy 18x9, actually 18x10.5 wheels would look freaking crazy on this thing, but in Jimmy Oak style, I'm going to nickname this thing the Mankey 46, which uh, seems like a fitting name because it's super manky, so welcome to your new home Mankey 46 it literally has like a puddle in here it's crazy lots of random documents I have no idea what that's about service books and stuff I guess which is a bonus oh look at that the light in there what is that oh no I don't want to touch anything in there oh like jizz tissues and stuff that's not cool it's, you know what, I'm going to shut that back up. That's gross. These seats are weirdly in really quite good condition. The driver's bolster isn't ripped, which is very surprising and quite rare with these things. There's a whole forest in the back because there's been no back window and it's been sitting in the weather. Oh, wow. There you go. There's a whole puddle in the back, so that's good. Whew. Yep. Well, I got it cheap, so I'm not complaining. What do you think, was? It's a work of art. It looks like you found it in a swamp. It, it has a swamp inside it. Yeah, I saw. I saw. <laughs> Dust skids, though. It'd be fun, though. Well, this, the, the world is our oyster in terms of what we could do with this thing. I reckon you get another Lancer. Yeah. We pull the whole drive line out and we weld it into a Lancer. And do a real drive Lancer. Yeah. I, I just want a real wheel drive the Fevo to be honest, but we've got enough real drive cars. I feel like I need to keep a front wheel drive car. But this thing, we could we could do the Max Beating Rods turbo treatment again to this thing, the same as what we've done to that thing. Because if that's 1.8 litre single overhead cam and that can make 100 and whatever kilowatts, 150, 180 kilowatts, this is single overhead cam 1.8 litre. Why wouldn't this be able to make 180 kilowatts? True. Same thing, you know, different car. I've got injectors and stuff sitting there, J pipe, turbo, but then I say it's easy, it's it's not as easy as I it's it sounds. It's a chassis though, that thing go, will go. Yeah, true. Yeah, that this will is go great. Yeah. With that kind of power, this thing is a little bit heavy. Yeah, it is heavier. And these are grippy, yeah? Yeah, they're a grippy chassis. Yep, they're a great chassis for drifting. But um, I don't know. Unless maybe, um, I don't know, we could build another drift car as a giveaway car, but not many people want to afford a drift car or can afford to maintain a drift yeah, car it's not exactly. cheap it's like giving away drift cars just seems kind of null and void i feel like if we're going to do a giveaway we'd make this street car and then give it away but there's a bit of work in that just cleaning it there's like a two days work yeah it's pretty gross oh well there you go guys that's the end of that video let us know what you think in the comments below bit of a different one thank you guys for watching as always hit that like button if you enjoyed it and uh i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video where we're doing whatever you peace